Hi everyone. I hope you all had a good Merry Christmas with your family and your loved ones under the COVID-19 restrictions. So here I am as I promised last week. I coming back to do the uh, wine filtration for my homemade wine. So here we are with my setup. As you notice this time I bring everything inside my basement. Uh, so it's a little bit warmer. It's not as cold as in the cold room. So we got two uh, Diamond Johns of uh, rack red wine that I did last week. So today I'm gonna filter this one to the carboys up here. So what I have here is my DIY filtration system that I built last year. If uh, you haven't seen it, I'm gonna put the uh, link on the top right hand corner for you to uh, take a look. So I have the 38 holes running for the output. I'm gonna go through uh, one of these carboys and another 3 8 hole there and go down to half inch. That I will connect to my racking cane which I have right here half inch racking cane and two filter cartridges. So this is one micron you can see right there one micron and this one is 0 0.5 microns so this one I could get on Amazon with no issue but this one I had to buy it directly from uh, one of the place online called Rainfresh so for now I'm gonna unpack these and I'm gonna rinse them Two. Put them here. Trash. To my washroom. So now, so this is number one, this is number two. I'm gonna put the one micron, which is this one, in here for this one. It's hollow through, see through, you can see through, so it doesn't matter which way you put. So I'm gonna just set it in there. So make sure it falls into that groove at the bottom there. Screw it back on. Yeah. This one, number two. Now you notice this one. You got one yellow, one white. The white is solid one. Should be at the bottom. The yellow one open, hollow, need to be at the top. Sit in there. You notice the filter housings kind of wet because I cleaned them earlier. That's in there. That's in there. So this is one micron, this is 0 0.5 micron. Now this is my first time try and error, I did the 5 micron and 1 micron last year. It was good, but not completely clear. So that's why this year I tried the 1 micron and 0 0.5 micron. See how it goes. Okay, now I'm gonna hook up my racking cane. 
into this bottle first then hook up the holes I could smell the alcohol already there now I'm gonna I want to tip this one slightly so I'm gonna get out of wine out tip this one up a bit okay so let's see if we can get out of liquid that way okay So, to my set, I'm gonna fill up this one first. You see this one's long enough to go there. So first, when I turn on this, I will get a bit of water coming out before the actual wine. I'm gonna fill up this bottle first. So, here we go. To the carboy. Oh, spilling it again. And now here we go. So that's the first, I'm gonna leave that one because get the first batch because too much air bubble. I'm gonna try to fill up the next one. So get that one I may bother it sooner. Number one. Oh, 
Okay. Now I give too much air. That one's done. Move to this one. Paper towel. Oh, shit. Forgot. Forgot. Okay, forgot one thing. Go back to this one. We're gonna take out one sample before filtration and after filtration. get my wine class okay we should have done this at the beginning but I'm down to second water I'm gonna take a sample of this wine unfilter and we'll compare with the filter one later on
that's it folks done two bottles still left some left over in here As you can see this clear one there's not much sediments at the bottom here after my this is my second racking so I have partially three carboys plus half I'm gonna move some of those to fill up this bottle and uh, I'm gonna do the cleanup oh, oh yeah I'm gonna compare the final product first of all I'm gonna transfer some of this one over here just to top up this bottle okay I'm gonna take out this uh, racking cane Paper towel. Put in here. There. Just to move some over here. See, got one filter cartridge of one micron and one filter cartridge of 0.5 micron. Would do the uh, three and a half carboys. That'd be about 70 liters, I was to say. And it's still okay, but uh, that's it. I'm gonna throw these filter cartridges out because uh, no point to reuse them. Uh, 
just have to buy a new one for next year. But there's some left over here. So this one's clear. This one's kind of cloudy. You can see the difference already. And let's see inside these bottles. So I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna keep these wine inside these cardboards to age them. Except this half bottle, I'm gonna keep it for a week. Then I'm gonna bottle everything into a small bottle because there's too much gap here. So I'm gonna put it into small bottles and age them. And next, I will compare the finished products. Yes, I will compare the finished products after I clean up this mess. Okay, it's time to compare the final product. The one on the left here is after two racking. And the one on the right is with one micron and 0.5 micron filtration after second racking. So let's compare the two. So I'm gonna shy my using my camera light. Shy it through. Okay, so this is after two rackings. I mean, it looks clear enough to me. And this one with uh, one micron and 0 0.5 micron cracking. I mean, filtration. I don't think you can tell the difference. Uh, slightly clearer, I would say. Okay, let's bring them closer. Okay, let's see. Second racking. Half the filter. Second racking. Half the filter. Okay, two second racking. It's one micron and 0 0.5 micron filtration. I don't know, you tell me, you can see the difference. Please leave a comment below. Now I have three and a half cowboys ready for aging. Okay, let's see this one. Well, the bottle is too thick, too big, so can't see any light through, obviously. In the top, nope. Small bottle, maybe. Oh, this cardboard. Nope. So, this half bottle. I'm gonna let it sit in my cold room for a week. Then I will bottle into a 750 milliliter bottle. For these three, I'm gonna let them age in the big bottle like this. Maybe for three months or six months. Then I bottle them as I need them. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now, have a good holidays.